Hey y'all, so my name is John Genitazio. I just wanted to shoot this video real quick with some tips and tricks to help you with your online presence and bring some more consistent traffic throughout the year. So without further ado, I'll get right into it. So I did a search for you guys on uh, line and I can't really find you anywhere besides Facebook. So what I'm going to do is show you your competitors, what they're doing and kind of how you can copy them and siphon off of their traffic. So I'm not sure if you know these guys, Dealer Tin Team. They're the number one currently on Google. Uh, if you search window tinting in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And there's three reasons why they're up there. It's content, citations, and backlinks on the website. I'll explain those as I go along. But content is anything on a website where related pictures and what they're saved as. So all this is content. Google likes to see anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000 words of content depending on your competition. And the reason for this is so that you can fit in buyer intent keywords such as uh, Phoenix, Arizona, window tinting, uh, wherever your location is, window tinting. See these, all these highlighted things right here, these are keywords that you want to be putting in inside of a website and your Facebook page and everything so that when people search, you show up. Google want, likes to see the amount of content so that you don't look spammy throughout your website and to provide and to provide value for the user searching on Google so if you search something Google is going to provide the person who has the most valuable and the most content Google's going to show that to that person so if you ever notice anytime you search something non not service related Wikipedia always shows up and the reason for that is because they have thousands and thousands of words of content on their page providing the user with the most information they don't necessarily always have keywords in there, but they're talking about, let's say, Elon Musk, and it mentions Elon Musk a dozen times in there, and they have content talking about Elon Musk. That's why it shows up. It's the same thing with window tinting on a website. You put your services in your location, and then you just talk about it, and it's going to boost it up on Google. The second one is backlinks. Backlinks is a mention of your uh, website inside of a another website blog post or it's just a mention of your website and somewhere else on the web and <clears throat> a backlink kind of it sends power from one website one one website to another and the more niche related a website is so if you put your website inside of another window tinter car detailing or so on anything car related it's going to help you a lot than putting your website inside of say pizza hut because pizza hut is not your niche and Google reads what's on your website and it reads on uh, the Pizza Hut so if it's going through Pizza Hut and it clicks this link right here and this this is a backlink it's connecting to another window tinter so this guy is doing it right and they're reading and they see cooking pizza and then they read window tinting it can even mark you as spam so if you're inside of niche related places it's gonna really help you <clears throat> And the third one was citations. So citations is a mention of your name, address, and phone number throughout the web. And that's going to get you in this map pack right here. This is where 80% of people search, uh, people searching on Google go. They either go to the map pack here or to the top three right here. Essentially, if you're not here, you're non-existent. And the only time you ever show up is if you search this exact name in Google. And you show up right here under some directory you have yourself in some other directory but and here you are but people never do that they never type your exact name in they always type in a service so it's going to get you in this map pack and directories like yelp angie's list house you want to put in every single directory you possibly can if they're niche related directories even better but there's this tool called white sparks it kind of tells you what's it tells you what's uh what citations they have and you just need to copy them so whatever they have you do more they have 50 you do 60 and then the citations are going to get you up here and then you want to obviously have lots of reviews because if you were to come here who would you pick you'd probably go with these guys because they have 20 plus years experience they have almost 350 250 reviews they have a cool website their website's right here there's no reason in the world you wouldn't go with them unless they were crazy expensive <clears throat> And then Yelp right here, they're up here number one. All they're doing is selling leads back to people like you. All they need to do is get up here 
and then you get the leads. So, and then you want to be super active on your map pack here. So, you want to answer all the reviews you get, say thank you or whatever. Um, then you want to the questions and answers here. You can ask questions yourself, and then you can also see this guy. He's he's answering people's questions, but you can ask and answer your own questions so people don't have to contact you without, and they don't waste your time. And then posting pictures constantly every week. Add a picture every day if you want. I have clients that they post every day and then they show up on the top of Google within a month, and that that's the key. Citations and just being active on your page is going to get you up there. So I have this tool called HRS. It kind of tells you what's going on in the background of the website. These guys currently. Uh, it says they're bringing in almost 5,000 people a month on the website. That's a lot of people, and this website doesn't really even have much going on in the background. Like, it's, they have all their content, so they're doing really well on that. But the competition's pretty lame, so it wouldn't be that hard to beat them online. Everyone's trying to go after different keywords, but uh, these guys right here, they have a nice website. They're bringing in 320. Um, but if you come look at these keywords, so Window Tinting in Phoenix, it has a thousand searches a month. Uh, Window Tinting Phoenix, Arizona, 400 searches a month. So these guys right here, they're getting all these searches on their website. These guys right here, I'm pretty sure they're ranking for near me, which is kind of a glitchy keyword because uh, it's kind of hard to measure that. See, it says they're bringing in a thousand people for that. Um, it's hard to measure near me keywords, but that's that's why getting all those citations is really going to help when uh, your map pack. So if I search near me, window tinting near me, uh, wait, I live in Detroit, so all these guys are going to show up, but there's dozens and dozens, there's hundreds of window tinters near me, but all you need to do is... Uh, get those citations and you're going to show up while if I search window tinting Detroit the ones not necessarily near me but these guys will show up so near me shows up is a matter of IP address of where you're located and putting location keywords is a matter of just ranking for that keyword so that that search gets about 350 searches a month I think but this one, uh, Phoenix, it gets a thousand searches a month. So ranking for near me is going. Most people honestly type in near me. I know I do all the time, and I generally go with these people. So you can rank for near me. It's hard to measure that, but you can actually measure these. So you're going to get even more than what they're saying. So that's why this tool is not 100% accurate, but it could be up to 10 times the amount of that traffic that they're bringing in. So yeah, this is content citations and backlinks. Being really active on your map pack, it's going to get you up on the Google. And that's where most people are searching. They're generally not going to Facebook to find a service. If they are, they're looking for a cheap person, in my experience. So getting at least a map pack is going to really, really, really help you. And you can just direct it to your Facebook page if you need be. Uh, but getting a website is definitely going to increase your conversions. Uh, just let me know what you think about this video. God bless.